Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a while. For the past two weekends, I have locked myself in my room, have been flat out pretty much studying. I am studying a Bachelor of Business, majoring in marketing. On top of that, I just started my new job at SDA Travel. I have never been a travel agent, I or travel expert, whatever you want to call it. I've gone about this a lot of different ways. I've tried taking my camera out with me and taking short videos, tried taking notes on my phone of topics I want to talk to you about, I've tried writing down little scripts of what I want to say to you guys, but at the end of the day, that's, that's not me. I found that the best way that I can actually make a video is just to sit down and talk to you. What do you want to do? What's your point? What's your purpose? And um, <laughs> that's basically what I ask myself every day. I realized that the one thing I hadn't really done was introduce myself to you. The honest truth is that I don't know who I am and that upsets me and it freaks me out but at the same time I wanted to do this for me. I wanted to start making videos to try and find myself. I've wanted to do it for a while, I have just not had the confidence to do it. This is just about finding out who I am and having the confidence to live in my own skin not trying to get too deep with you guys and I'm sure you can probably tell by now that I laugh when I'm trying to put something off that is making me feel uncomfortable and it's a defense mechanism and I get that and that's why I don't want to do this and that's why I'm kind of not going to do this. I live at home with my parents, my mum, dad and my brother. My brother's actually autistic. He's not Asperger's, he's not one of the smart autistic children. I'm not going to explain that to you because quite frankly I don't know how to. I've lived with him majority of my life and it still puzzles me. I've dealt with it all my life and it's something that I'll just keep dealing with. We look after him full time and his favourite activity is watching Wiggles on his iPad. When I came back from London I had a room upstairs in the house and I also had a room downstairs. The upstairs room was my bed and bed stuff, wardrobe, etc. And downstairs was my desk and when I was in high school I actually did three major works which is probably why I got really bad HSC marks. <laughs> but that's okay. So I kind of had a room which was just my HSC room. And then when I came back from London, I was like, look, we've got this big room downstairs that no one uses. So I moved in here. It's kind of a mess of just me. And I guess that's why I thought the best way to introduce myself to you would be a tour of my room. It sort of describes me relatively well from an outside perspective. It's my best friend. I think you've met her before. I know I woke you up. I'm so sorry. So this is Sassy. <laughs> She's my dog, while the golden retriever Missy is the family dog. Yes. Oh my god, use your words. She likes to lick. <laughs> I'm gonna show you around my room. Probably gonna be cleaning as I go. So <laughs> Basically all of the map is bad and really just geographically incorrect. I thought I would introduce you to one of my favourite humans, Amadore. <laughs> and obviously one of my favourite things to do which is reading. When I was in primary school I had these huge glasses and I, my dad, he decided to cut my hair into a bowl cut. So. I really liked reading and I didn't have many friends. This is my reading nook. All of this is <laughs> cotton on. Um, and obviously Barney Calls. I 
hate the color of this couch. It's like this ugly green. So I made it my own. Uh, <laughs> pretty important to me where I put all of my memories my little babies when they were puppies when I just got them that's my mum on her wedding day that's my uncle me my mum and my brother when we were at Disneyland as you can see I was obsessed with horses from an extremely young age favorite photo of my brother my old dogs this is Tess and this is Todd this is my old pet chicken Cohen he sadly got eaten by my dog it was I guess a summary of pretty much everything most of it probably won't make sense to you but it's very important to me <laughs> but I think these from Virgo and her would have to be my ultimate faves. <laughs> Okay, it's not too bad. It's kind of just a mixture of face masks, a whole lot of teeth, <laughs> and teeth things. It's not the neatest, but to be fair, it wouldn't really be my desk if it was. That's all that I did when I was sick and I haven't had the heart to take it apart yet. One of my favorite artists. This is my uncle. He is someone who inspired a lot of my love for photography and cameras. I still haven't broken, even though I've wanted to. This is my pen pal Bambi. This is me in the paper next to Rochelle Fox and Samantha Wills. And this is here ironically because I worked really hard to get into Sydney Uni and then I bailed. It's also here because I was one mark off a high distinction.
the current books that I am reading or have read. This is what I'm currently in the middle of and I am absolutely obsessed. This is my little TV setup. I've got my TV connected to my laptop and I can control it with my phone. That is my bedroom. It's a bit of a cave back there. It's pretty good for watching movies though, so hey, if you like watching some horror movies with me, come over. I know it's a bit of a mess, but then again, so am I. My bedroom kind of really describes me. Just a bit of everything put together. No real style, no real cool togetherness. It's all just a mixture of everything I like and all the little things that make me happy. Sometimes you just need to embrace who you are and just run with it really. There's a quote I have on my Instagram and it's my favourite quote and I try and live by it. It's, there is no one alive that is youer than you by Dr. Seuss. As much as I would love to have a beautiful white room with rose gold details, marble countertops and like a really nice pretty looking chair that nobody ever sits on in the corner. But I really love what I've been given and I'm lucky to have such an awesome room. Thanks for watching my video guys. I am working on making more videos and actually being able to make a lot more content regularly but at the moment I'm still getting a bit used to everything and editing takes me a really long time because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Please subscribe, I am going to bring out new videos soon, I'm so happy that you've watched this and welcome to me. <laughs>